All right, guys, so I've been using knives for a little while, especially these Warncliffe blades, and they're really starting to grow on me. So today I thought I would talk about why I think the Warncliffe blade is actually pretty awesome and one that I initially really slept on. And admittedly, I will say for most of my, you know, like knife collecting and knife using career, I've really favored just generic, general, you know, uh, drop points, clip points. And for me, when I wanted a knife that was a little bit more my taste, I really liked recurve. Now, it is very much true that I still love my recurved blades, but undoubtedly recurves are not super useful um, just in general outside of maybe self-defense or combative uses um, because they do a pretty good job in those situations. But outside of that, when it comes to like opening boxes and packages and stuff, they're really not the most useful uh, edges, especially because it is harder to maintain them um, as opposed to something that has a more traditional or just straight edge. Uh, so having these curved edges definitely makes that more complicated. However, like I said, between my um, between my Gavco Nurse and especially my Hogue Deca here, I have recently, these are the two newest knives I have in the collection and they're both Warncliffs and I've honestly been using Warncliffs quite a bit and really liking them for a few reasons. So I thought I would get into the reasons why I like them. So first off, I think one of the best things, especially that I've noticed with my Hodeca here, is the ease of resharpenability. Now, in fairness, I did get this knife and out of box. The edge was just fine. I just wanted to touch it up, and partly I wanted to just see, you know, how easy was it for me to touch up Magna Cut. Now, granted, I do use a Wicked Edge, so it is pretty easy to sharpen, or I should say I haven't encountered a steel uh, that is hard to resharpen on my Wicked Edge, and I've sharpened everything from like LC200N, Magna Cut, um, 20 CV, and a whole bunch of other steels on it. But uh, overall, this blade took a really sharp edge very easily and very quickly. So I will say part of it is probably the steel, but also what I really like about most Warncliffe blades is the fact that while there is some general contour to the edge, for the most part, they're pretty darn straight blades. And very much Warncliffe's take after a box cutter style of blade, and that makes them extremely utilitarian. Part of that is also resharpenability. As you can see too, with my Gavco Nurse, um, you know, overall there is some sweep to the belly of this thing, but for the most part, it's a pretty darn straight blade, especially when it comes down to the tip. It's pretty darn straight. And once again, with Warncliffe's, they have the very distinctive feature of having basically a reverse tip to most knives, which gives that um, tip a uh, it helps in several unique ways. One, of course, it makes it very sharp and very pointed, even though it's maybe not the most stabby point. Um, it is very fine and very pointed, but also it's very, very thin because with most knives that are ground, um, what you face is that as you get closer to the spine of the knife, like I guess I should show here with a traditional drop point, you're getting closer to the spine and the thicker portion of the blade. Obviously the spine is going to be thicker than your bevel and your grind, right? So the closer you get to the spine, the thicker and more reinforced your tip will be. However, with something like a Warncliffe, that doesn't really happen because the tip is actually still a part of the grind, as you can see here. And so therefore, that tip is super, super thin. Sorry, this lighting does not help very well, but you can see that that tip is extremely thin. And what that really helps with, especially when you're doing things like opening packages, uh, boxes, letters, whatever, is not only is this an ergonomic position for you to hold and get good control over the tip, but also it's super, super thin, super cute, and super fine. So that helps with making a extremely slicey edge. So that's the first thing that I really do. So that's the biggest thing that I really love about these guys. They're super resharpenability. They're super resharpenable. And moreover, they are super, super slicey. And the same can largely be said with this Gavco nurse here. And it's pretty impressive because this Gavco is a thicker, chunkier blade stock. So as you can see with this um, Hogue Deca, you know, it's already pretty thin, so it's not that hard to make it super slicey. But even this guy, has a pretty thin, pretty slicey tip that is very well pointed. And once again, too, very much the same thing 
easily choke up on this, get great control over it. Now, another point too is that I was kind of surprised to learn how well these guys can actually work for self-defense. Now, obviously I haven't tried this out. I'm not going around slashing people and I wouldn't necessarily recommend that to people, but the really nice thing about these blades being so flat and so even is if you do need to push them into a self-defense role, they are very good at making long slashing cuts and knives like the uh, Yojimbo, Yojumbo and others by Spyderco are very much um, pretty much just straight up flat uh, like they have no contouring or belly to them but worn cliffs and they are designed with self-defense in mind now of course you can use them for utilitarian tasks and i think most people do but the fact that they were designed from the ground up to be a self-defense knife i think speaks to the viability of the worn cliff in a self-defense manner now, the last point for me, and of course, this is probably the most subjective of them all, is honestly, these Horncliffs have really been growing on me. When I first looked at them, and for most of my knife collecting, knife using time, I've looked at Horncliffs and never really liked them. But now actually having handled them, having had a few in person, and I'm sure I'm gonna add a few more to the collection, they are really starting to grow on me. I think they're a very unique design. Like they look very interesting, obviously very different from a more traditional design. Like like say a recurve, um, which is already a slightly untraditional design and definitely very different from something like a drop point. But I think at the core, they do look pretty darn cool, pretty attractive. And especially, I think it has to go with the lines and design of the blade. But if the design and lines of the blade are already very sharp, sleek, and overall kind of lend their hand to that sharp, Warncliffe blade, I think it can be extremely aesthetically pleasing, especially like I said with this nurse that has that very sharp kind of end to it. And obviously it's not pointy and won't hurt you, but it kind of goes with that design of the Warncliffe. So I don't know, from an aesthetic standpoint, they're definitely growing on me and I think they're actually pretty darn good looking. Obviously, I don't think it will replace a recurve for me. I still love my recurved blades a lot, but these darn worn cliffs are pretty cool and definitely a lot more utilitarian and usable than I had initially thought or really thought that they would be. So definitely, if you don't have a worn cliff, I'd recommend checking them out. This Hodeca is a really good, I think, test bed, not only for worn cliffs, but for Magna Cut. And that is what I use it for. And I really like it as far as just a general utilitarian EDC blade. It's obviously um, much cheaper than most of the other blades that run in my collection, but this guy is just a really solid performer. I think, uh, Definitely, I'm glad that I added it to my collection. But even if you don't, the Hodeca still comes in a drop point, so you can still check it out. Still recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think it's a cool blade. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.